So, hey vlog, I uh, actually ended up calling out of work today because my cramps were literally so bad that I just laid in bed for a few hours this morning just on the verge of tears because I have no medicine in this house and I haven't been able to get out of the house to get medicine. So it's been a real, it's been a real mess this morning. So I ended up calling out, didn't end up feeling okay to roll out of bed till 3 p.m. It's 6 p.m. now, but I had to go get dinner with my family. But God, if I look rough, it's because because I look rough, yeah, because cause that's why, because it's just been a fucking day. So I'm about to go get some dinner with my family, go to 7-Eleven, get some pain meds, because I literally was just digging around for ibuprofen today. Thankfully, I found some Midol in like three random ibuprofen, took it all at once. I'm feeling good now, but probably by the time dinner's over, I'm going to need more pills. So thankfully, there's a 7-Eleven right by where we're getting dinner, so that's happening now, y'all. I don't know. I'll catch you up on other stuff when I get back, but... Fuck, it's been a day. It's at 6.41 if you guys were riding us. I'm not riding I was, I know I actually I know that, but I was trying to find out. Um, I was trying to find out. It's 11 p.m. I've been up for about an hour now. Uh, I went to bed actually at like 7.30 because it's been a long fucking day and I figured I needed the sleep and my body wanted the sleep so I tried to give it the sleep. But cramps are one hell of a thing. Cramps, cramps didn't want me to sleep so um, I woke up and I've been just lying in bed back and forth between bed and the bathroom. As you can see, I said fuck off to the harsh lighting and have some softer lighting on over there. It's been a day. It's just been... And a day like today reminds me why I need to start being more of an adult and making regular doctor's appointments. Because I need to get my ass back on birth control. Because these cramps are literally driving me up a fucking wall so yeah today sucked and i'm praying that tomorrow's better regardless of how i feel in the morning i'm going to work because like i'm not missing two days in a row for cramps like i'm not oh I'm, like just thinking about that makes me mad so that'll be a thing um editing vlogs today really that's all i've done today since i've been stuck in bed and in the bathroom because menstruation's a fucking asshole I know some of y'all might not want to hear that, but it's the God's honest truth and just, I wish I could just flip a switch in my body and say, you know what, I don't, I don't need any of this for, for now or ever really. Can I just like turn it off? And if you know, 10 years down the line, I decide I want kids. Can I like flip the switch back on and everything can kind of just start back up. The gears can start turning because I don't, I don't need this. I don't want this. I don't like this. I just want to shut everything down, this uterus, all of it. I don't want it. So side note, I'm editing vlogs right now, and in one of my previous vlogs, there's a clip of me looking at the kitten that my brother just got and calling him and my mother jackasses and my baby sister a brat. But that's because we have four cats in this house already. That cat makes the fifth cat we have in this house plus a dog. That's why I'm so angry, because we don't need any more cats. So I just figured I would clear the air a bit because I seem like really mad for no reason about the fact that we have this really cute kitten. No, there's a reason. It's just that we have too many cats and those three were specifically told that we don't need any more cats, but they went behind me and my dad's back and brought a kitten home anyway. So that's why I'm mad in that last vlog about the kitten because that's why. It's not just because I'm an evil, heartless human being who doesn't like small, cute things. Like, that's that's not it. I love baby animals. The cat's adorable and I love it, but like, I'm just very irritated over the fact that we have five cats in this house again. God. I feel like I had to clear the air because I look kind of mean in that one vlog and I'm not. I'm just sick of jackasses. <laughs> that's it. I just had to clear the air. I'm sorry. So tell me fucking why I almost just lit my baby sister on fire. And no, I'm not joking. I really almost just did that. Because it is 3 o'clock in the morning. And all I hear upstairs is this sudden, it sounds like someone's knocking. And then like bang, 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 bang. And then silence. And at 3 in the morning, 
everybody in my house is supposed to be sleeping. Typically my mom goes to sleep around 2 a.m. after she gets home from work and watches a few episodes of her shows. So 3 a.m., nobody's supposed to be up except like the cats and the dog. All I hear is like what sounds like someone trying to be quiet up start shuffling. I'm like, someone's fucking broken in. I can't find my pepper spray anywhere, so I'm trying to think, like, what do I do? I have fire extinguisher in the corner, but I don't really know how fire extinguishers work, so I'm not going to take a chance on that. So what I decided to do was I thought fast, and I grabbed my Lysol spray, and I grabbed my lighter, because I know how to turn that into a weapon. <laughs> So I did. And as I'm walking up the stairs, I go to open the door and I kind of like kick it open. And I, let me, let me give you a demonstration of what I just did real quick. That's what I did. Like in my kitchen. This is why I need to live alone. So that if I do end up doing that to someone, it'll be somebody who deserves it because somebody will have broken it. And I don't end up setting my 15 year old sister on fire. I don't know where that spider went. Ah! <laughs> That's not it. That was just a hair. But I just sprayed the side of my bed a lot with the like, spider killer. So I'm praying that it is fucking dead. Because I am not fucking around. I'm not fucking around. Where's that spider? I hope it's dead. Oh no. That's what happened to my box spring. Huh. Let me go get my dad. Fuck! Hey, daddy. What? Uh, when you're done doing what you're doing, can you come help me with something real quick? I was trying to put away all the clothes that Rosé helped me pick out and sort and this and that on Wednesday night. What sucks is that I'm finding a couple articles of clothes that I didn't know was my dirty laundry that I'm not too sure how to categorize it. There's some things that I like know because like a girl learned, but there's other things where I'm like, fuck. So uh, that's a thing right now. I'm gonna make a list of things that I need to buy either at Target, Home Goods, CVS, I don't know, just things to put around this room because while I do have a lot of things in the green room that I'm going to be moving into the next room. So just a lot of organizing is going to be done this weekend. I honestly thought that I was supposed to be babysitting, but the lady never said anything to me. And she said she texted me a time, but it's tomorrow and I still haven't heard anything. So I'm just going to live my life. And if she texts me, then just go and babysit, I guess. I don't know. So it's going to be hopefully a productive weekend. Going to be doing a lot of cleaning, a lot of organizing, a teeny bit of shopping because I'm trying to save money because I'm going to Los Angeles in December and I need to, you know, save up money for that trip, save up money for the studio time, this and that. <sighs> She's busy, y'all.